Good morning. May God and the heavens protect you. A time of victory is beginning, a time of blessing in your life. On this day, I want to deliver something from God to you, and I want to pray for you. God told me to read a verse for you today, and He told me to give you direction and pray for you. Whether you have been waiting here to give your first fruits to God or you are entering here for the first time, you are very welcome. Today, God has sent me to deliver a word that is written in Psalm 139, verse 5. You hem me in, behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Hallelujah! What a powerful word God has sent me to deliver to you. A person who has this blessing cannot fall into the snare of the birdcatcher. The enemy's arrows cannot touch their life. A person who lives under this blessing doesn't even allow the enemy to find the door of their house. Today, I will pray for God to give you blessed hands, a protected family, and multiplied possessions. Amen. I will pray that God's protection rests first upon you, then upon your house, and your family. If you pray and meditate on Psalm 91, it says, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Do you know what God is saying? God is affirming that many people fall into the snare of the birdcatcher, many people suffer from the enemy's attacks, and many people trip over the traps of the adversary. But when he says, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but you will not be struck, he is saying, I have my blessing upon your life. My blessing is upon your life because you have sought me. Psalm 91 says, You have made the Lord your dwelling place, in other words, because you have sought me, I have a covenant with you, and I will not allow the enemy's snare, the adversary's snare, the arrow that flies by day, or the snare of the birdcatcher to touch your life. May all the blessings of Psalm 91 and the promise written in Psalm 139 be upon your life. For those of you here for the first time, welcome. Here, we don't talk about religion, we talk about God. Everyone has their own religion, and we must respect them all, but God is one. In God, we are all brothers and sisters, isn't that true? I encourage you to subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified whenever we post a new video. Also, hit the like button, that helps us grow the channel. When YouTube realizes that our content is good and doesn't hurt or offend anyone, we can reach more and more people through the Word of God. Shall we pray? Our Lord God, our beloved and dear Father. In this moment of prayer, my God, I want to ask you for your daughters and sons, that your Word, which is open here in front of me in Psalm 139, be fulfilled in their lives. Father, may your protection be upon the lives of your children. I declare that you will have blessed hands, a protected family, and multiplied possessions. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Peace, health, and prosperity. Raise your hand and say, I believe. I receive. Close your eyes, bow your head, and pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory to God.